Um, did y'all want to give your names or no? No. No. Okay. So we are here in Modesto. Um, and I just wanted to ask a question about um, the programs and resources for homelessness, not just here in Modesto, but based off of like your personal experiences and what you know. Um, are the programs and resources what, the, what people make them out to be? Definitely not. Definitely not what they're supposed to be. Um, there's a lot of so-called resources you can go through to get help and benefits, but literally they only help you so far. Um, and not only that too, but like when I, so, you know, little back, I got pregnant when I was 16 and I had my daughter when I was 17. I was on the streets from the morning I got pregnant and there was nothing that they could do for me because I was 16 and I had a kid. So when I had my kid, the teen programs that they have for the homeless youth or whatever they accepted me but because I had a kid they would deny me and I couldn't I couldn't stay there with my child so I was left to do it all myself when I was 17 years old and then after that when I turned 18 I was accepted for the adult programs but the adult programs wouldn't accept me because of this that and the other like it's just there's so many behind so many the loops. stuff that you have to go around there's it and it's a lot of loopholes you have to go through yeah to get the help the little bit of help that they're even willing to give like uh, you can go through welfare. Welfare does a homeless program, which is like 14 days in a motel, but you literally, it's after the 14 days, you're literally on your own. And then if you There's don't no find a house to move into within that 14 days, you're just like pre pretty much screwed. Like you have to go find your own stuff or go back on the streets and pay out and of then, pocket, which is like right. well, almost $1,000 a week for a motel room. I just had to do that for two months straight before exactly. I could even get the homeless program that they just gave me. Which was the 14 days. Yeah. I was lucky to even get that. And I then have you, two daughters. Right. And you only get that once a year. And it has to be the exact, the exact day, day that you ended it or started it last year. Exactly. Like you can't, they just don't have an unlimited amount of resources for people that, like you know. Like they say they do. Or, and like, you know, they say they built that Kansas house. And there's a bunch of other, other houses that they are starting to build out of hotels and other that. They don't put nobody in it. I was on that waiting list before they even started building the Kansas house. And I'm not even placed in it and I have, I have a kid but there's people that are placed in it that don't have children I had one person extra it was me my son my daughter because I had just had her literally a newborn baby so when I was pregnant they gave me a motel for six months over off of 9th Street and I was there for six months to nine months because of COVID had hit so they couldn't pretty much evict you so I'd already had my daughter at the time but my son's on my case along with my baby daddy Kansas House was only literally offering you to three people max. Mm -hmm. If you had one more person, you're not eligible for it. And I don't think that that's fair. Yeah. I feel like it doesn't matter how many people you have with you, as long as it's a roof over their heads, then why does it matter? Right. They're children. They don't deserve to be sleeping in a park or having to sleep in shelters or their parents having to worry about how to fend for them when their food stamps run out or when their cash aid runs out. It's literally a struggle. Right. And it, the California sits here and says that they have so many um, resources, but in reality, they're so hard to get. Right. You have to have all the paperwork down to birth certificates, down to shot records, down to everything you really and, need and to even get even approved. That, to get your, to even down to let's see that your ID, to get your ID to even get a job or to get a house, to get anything, you have to have a address to get the ID sent to. And in order to have the address, you have to have a bill in your name or something. If we're on the streets, how are we going to have an address with a bill with our name on it? Yeah. How are we going to get that? Yeah. How, are we, how are we supposed to get anything? Yeah. Like, they're not offering any resources like they say that's out there. Or if their resources are out there, they're not using them to where they can be. And it's exactly. Just, it's, like, the resources out here are so strong, and they have the money to do it. Okay. They have the money to help. But at the end of the day, they're really not really doing their full capacity of helping. Right. Yeah. And it's like, well, you have a worker, and your worker can only help you so much. But at the end of the day, if the, res the, the resource is over and you can adjust us to a different resource, but you feel like it's taking money from other people getting that resource, but you know kids are involved mm -hmm. instead of just like, you know, adults roaming the streets because they want to, but it's different when people have children. Women have children out here and women are sleeping in parks with their kids and it's not right. fair when there's resources and money that can be put out and put into it. Yeah. It's right. not fair at all. I have a two-year-old and a three-year-old little two little girls and I've been homeless for the past eight years since I was pregnant since the day I had them there's really no resources out here like they say there is and it's sad yeah it really is it's sad because it's not us that has to suffer because we're adults we're grown we lived our lives 
now we have little people to raise. You know yeah, what I right. mean? We have little people to come up in the world that we want to be right. Yeah. I want my kids to come up and be right, go to college, go to do what they're supposed to do with their lives. And then it's hard to get childcare, and because when you don't got a place to stay or you don't got a car, you how are you gonna get to work? To how are you gonna get to? How are you gonna supposed to take care of your? How are you gonna get them to daycare and all that stuff? Like it's just there's so much that they sit there and like, oh, it's because you're not getting a job. It's because you're not doing what you need to do. Because you're on drugs. We don't single. do drugs. We it's, I've it's never done drugs in our life. You know, parent. like yeah. You know, she has one, but I have two. It's extremely hard mm -hmm. to be a single parent with no help at all. Yeah. Like I'm fighting a whole domestic violence case. Like that is something like so like both of us are. Like we can't have our kids near family of the father at all, pretty much. Like we have no help. We're on our own. And we literally fight every day to make sure that our kids have a roof over their heads. Because they have, have a roof, make sure they, they're fed. They have the they have the the means and the funds to do so, but Not they even don't the want housing, to do it. the food. Let's let I've called so many food shelters and they've said you can only get food from here to here and you got to make appointments. Okay, well my child is hungry right now. Why do we have I to need make groceries right now. I need food right now. I need somewhere I can walk in and go and get some food. I need somebody to come and bring me some groceries, something. Like there's nothing for us and that's ridiculous because it's like we're trying, you know, and that's there's they're not trying for us. And when people start to commit crimes, then they're like, "Oh, you know, the crime labeling out people." Here is really it's bad, don't get me wrong, but it's not that as bad as Stockton, yeah. Sacramento. You ain't got to worry about going to the bar and getting shot at like it is out there, in all yeah. honesty. Like, it, the, the crime rate out here is not nearly as bad right. as it is towards Sa Stockton, Sa Sacramento, the Bay Area, and all out there. No, the crime rate out here is not nearly as bad as what right. it used to be. Yeah. Like, it's calmed down so much. It's shocking, honestly. Well, thank you so much for these these answers. I have one more question for y'all. Um, do y'all feel like any change is coming anytime soon without no, no. No. <laughs> without some sort of political or social revolution where we start to reimagine the way no, we live we in gotta, society? We gotta speak up. We, we gotta, gotta speak up, but us. I feel like even though we do speak up, I feel like the people's word and the people's vote never not really matters. Us, yeah. It's all government. It's because all the higher people's I votes can even that matter. Say, I can even say my worker, my welfare worker, will sit there on the phone with me and cry and tell me she feels bad that there's no programs that she can put me in. She feels bad that there's nothing that they, there's nothing that the state and the county can do for me because there's nothing there that they say that there is. There's no programs that they claim that there are. There's, there's not there. There's, there's not there. I'm 27 years old and I'm just like, I'm trying to look around like, when is the world really going to change? When is the when is all of it going to stop? The the hate for other people, the the just the violence in general, just the the non helping when people right. can. Like, it takes a village to raise a kid. Right? It takes a village to raise a family. In all honesty, and I live by that because if it wasn't for the people that I have around me, I don't know what I would honestly do. Right. Because people that care about me and my kids help me the most. But at the, at the end of the day, I feel like there's never going to be real change unless they fit, they give us the right to really speak up. Mm -hmm. And if they're not gonna really give us our own voice, we have freedom of speech for a reason. Yeah. If we can't have our own voice to sit here and try and change what is going on in our community and in our state and, and anywhere, then what are we? Well, it's not We're even bystanders. Our voice too, though, it's like they gotta actually listen because no matter how much we can scream, we can scream from the rooftops. Exactly. But if they ain't gonna listen to us and they ain't gonna actually change it and really listen, like show, okay, you know, like then they ain't I gonna I feel do like nothing. they're never really gonna show no care. No, they're really they not. know. They sit there. They lock these bathrooms at fuck at when the sun goes ten, down. Ten o'clock. We right when but the sun goes down. They lock the bathroom. This park. They kick us so all I can't out. Can't go to the bathroom. Where are we stuff like that? Where are we supposed to go to the bathroom? Where are we you supposed to change our open, clothes? You don't leave an open bathroom for us. Like you, you don't, don't leave us open water. Nothing. nothing. They shut down everything. They do not try and help the homeless, bro the homeless at all. And then, it's and then sad. when you start to really push it and be like, yeah, we've been sleeping here and here and here, they try to involve CPS to try to take our kids. Exactly. And the only not we're trying either. to do is be there for our kids and love our kids. And we're not abusing them. We're making sure they're fed. They got a roof over their head. Make sure they got everything. But you're seeing that as we can't do that because. We don't that's, have a stable living environment. Yeah. And they won't help you. Right. Get exactly. A, a, right. If, yeah. you, if they would help a little bit more to give us our permanent housing, like them building all of these motels and really wasting millions and millions of dollars to sit here and right. make 
properties for them not to put people in them is ridiculous to me. Yeah. It is a waste of our money. Right. What are you guys doing? You guys took over the whole golf course to build nothing but low income housing and you guys haven't even started yet. Mom, can I go? You know can what I, I mean? Go to it's it's, it's no, no, ridiculous. Right now, it's about time people start putting their foot down and really want a change and want something to happen. Yeah. Because if nobody speaks up, then nothing's going to happen. We're going to be in this forever. Yeah. There's no change. There's no there's no help. Yeah. If y'all aren't gonna help, then why are we even doing it? Why are we signing papers? Why are we why are we wasting our time to go into offices to get help that isn't gonna be given? Yeah. It's a waste of time. People need to put their foot down and really start speaking up for our community. And yeah. without okay, people yeah. getting together and really doing that, there's never gonna be a change. Right. Thank you so much for those beautiful answers. If, okay, I know y'all didn't want to give your names, but if My somebody, name is you don't have to get, oh, so, so if you have a Destiny. social media or something where people could reach out to help or something like that. I have a Facebook. My name yeah. is Destiny Glover. Yeah. You can find me on Facebook, I have Instagram also. Okay. So they're linked together. I mean, I, yeah, I don't really, I don't really want to put my name out there, but You're if fine. you want it. Reach out to her. She can, you know, yeah. help me out. Me too, and her so. together. We got three yeah. girls that, and if y'all are willing to help and okay, really okay. willing to give to the community, we have, we accept everything. Yeah. We accept all of the help that we can really get yeah. with our kids. Be a blessing, honestly. A blessing in disguise, yeah, in all honesty. Yeah. Uh, nobody has to give their names out. Nobody has to do any of that. Like, yeah. if it wants to be anonymous, that's fine. Like, all the help, it it, it, it matters. And that's yeah. all that we right. want. To, we want you guys to know. Yeah. Yeah. And you have beautiful children. Thank, Thank you, you so much for this interview.